Hey everyone, Demonite here. So in this video I got another build in the pre-sequel for you guys and this one is about Wilhelm. And I call this build the Hunter Killer just like Wilhelm's skill tree and this build is focused around maximizing the damage output from Wolf and Saint. Um, so the weapons I have on this build right here are the Taser, Thinking and Snyder. Um, these are just some good weapons to score critical hits with and I'll get to that in a second. Then a Phrygia to obviously freeze enemies, the Sham Shield, the Ferocious Equalizer class mod for plastics and rolling thunder, um, a Cryo Transfusion, and an Arctic Duality Ors kit for incendiary damage. Um, so the spec right here, as I said, the main focus is on Wolf, so you want a lot of skills that increase his damage output. Um, rolling thunder right here is the main skill. Um, this is a huge damage increase. And suppression is also really nice for Wolf's fire rate. Um, then the skill which requires you to score critical critical hits is Escalation right here um, for more cooldown rate, and you'll also have some more cooldown rate right here. Um, and the other skills are just to help out Wolf. Now um, I didn't go for Venom bolts because I'm in a map with mostly just flash enemies, or actually only flash enemies. So this will actually decrease Wolf's damage output, but if you're in the Claptastic DLC for example, where there are a lot of corrosive or armored enemies, you should definitely spec into this skill and possibly even use a class mod, um, a purple class mod, class mod which boosts all these free skills and you can take those points from Cold War. And then everything else is just some more defensive stuff or gun damage stuff. Alright, so I'm in Stanton's level right here and we'll kill some enemies here in this map. Um, so the first thing you want to do with this build is stack up a lot of rolling thunder which just means marking a lot of enemies and killing them as quickly as possible. And then after a while Wolf will deal a lot of damage and will be able to kill things easily himself. But at the beginning you definitely want to kill things um, you want to make sure that things get killed, so you'll just shoot them until they're dead pretty much. Okay, I didn't manage to mark that guy. But there we go. And yeah, this is obviously a pretty aggressive playstyle. Um, because you want to make sure that you keep up your action skill. Um, because if you didn't know... Um, Killing a marked enemy from laser guided will increase your action skill duration by 5 seconds. Which basically equals more rolling thunder, which means more damage. Alright, so we have a badass over here, so we'll freeze that guy. Um, and yeah, that's one thing I really like about Wolf and Saint is that you can just make builds like these and focus on their damage output. Or in Saint's case it would be healing output, I guess. Um, so you can also make a build focused around that. So that's really cool. Okay, there's a badass over there and Wolf managed to kill him, so that's nice. Wolf managed to kill a lot of things right now, which isn't necessarily very good because you want to mark them. Alright, Wolf should kill that enemy up there. I said he should kill that enemy up there. Alright, there we go. So we'll kill these few enemies down here. And then we'll move on. Alright, so let's go over here. And mark some more enemies as soon as they spawn.
Alright, this is kind of bad. Because in 5 3 left you can't, can't mark enemies. But it's not a problem to get up again. And yeah, by now we have 40 stacks of rolling thunder and as you can see Wolf is just one-shotting these trash mobs. So Wolf can definitely deal quite a lot of damage. Alright, I'm not sure, but maybe we'll manage to get over there uh, um, before our action skill runs out, so we can kill some more enemies. Yeah, we should be able. Alright, we have a Torque Goddess over here. And yeah, by now Wolf is just killing enemies before I even see them. So if you're around 40 to 50 stacks, that's the point where Wolf just starts to get really insane in terms of damage. And together with all of that fire rate from suppression, as long as you keep killing enemies, um, his DPS is really really high. And yeah, we managed to go through this map really quickly and really easy. So yeah, this is definitely a pretty fun build. And a really strong one as well. You just have to make sure to keep up um, your action skill and stack rolling thunder a lot. Which can be hard on some maps. This is a map with um, pretty frequent enemy spawns. So it can be um, pretty hard on some other maps. But in general, it's definitely a nice build to use. Um, so I show you guys my gear again, and my spec, and of course, as always, no bar. Um, but yeah, that's my hunter killer build for Wilhelm, and thanks for watching everyone, and see ya.